Welcome back to Mr. Anderson's Algebra 1 class video tutorials. And today, what we're going to be talking about is finding the greatest common factor, or GCF, and the lowest common multiple, or LCM, as many people refer to. Now, um, the greatest common factor is the biggest factor that the two numbers in the set share. That's the biggest number that they share. That's thus the name greatest common factor. Da, 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 da. Um, the lowest common multiple is the smallest multiple that the two numbers share. So I'm going to show you a couple different methods on how to find them. And uh, let's start off with some two numbers here. We're going to start off with the number 24 and the number 36. Okay. And I'm going to find the GCF first, the greatest common factor first. Okay. Now there's two methods that most people use when they're finding the GCF. And that is making a list of all of the factors, or they make a factor tree. And when they make their factor tree, what they do is they actually make um, uh, the factor tree down to the prime factors and so they call that one prime factorization and so basically that's just a fancy word prime factorization and so when they do that it gives them um, some leverage to help them find the GCF okay so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna start off with the list because um, some people like to see the list and I'm gonna make the list over here okay and so I'm going to make a list of all the factors for 24, and I'm going to make a list for all the factors of 36, and I'm going to look for the greatest common factor that they each share. Okay, so I know for 24 that I have 1 times 24 equals 24, I have 2 times 12, I have 3 times 8, and I have 4 times 6. So each of these factors multiply together and they give me 24. Now on the other side for 36, I have 1 times 36, I have 2 times 18, I have 3 times 12, and I have 4 times 9, and 6 times 6. Okay, So I can see with my list right there, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm going to be circling all of the factors that each of these share. But what, my, what I'm looking for is I'm looking for the greatest factor that they share. Thus, greatest common factor. Okay? So I know they both share the number one, they both share the number two, they both share number three, number four for that matter. They share the number six. I see that over across as a factor. Um, they don't share 8, they share 12, but I don't see any others that they share. So I know that these two are my GCF. So the GCF of 24 and 36 is 12, okay? So that's the list method right there. The other method that you will commonly see is the factor tree, and they're going to use the prime factorization. And I'm going to show you that you're going to get the same answer right here as you would get from the list, but if you use the factor tree, you'd also get the same answer. And so what that looks like, if I set this up, okay, I'm going to start off with my numbers again. I got 24 here, and I got 36 there. Okay, and so I'm going to break this down into factors. It doesn't matter which factors I choose because I'm ultimately looking for the prime factors that when I multiply together they give me those numbers. Okay, so I'm going to choose the number, um, let's do 2 and 12. Okay, those two numbers multiply together to give me 24, and let's do uh, 4 times 9. Those are two different numbers that multiply to 36, 
But I want to show you that when I factor these down into the factor tree, into the prime factorization, it's going to give me the same GCF right there. Okay? So 2 is actually already a prime factor, and I really don't need to factor that anymore. So I'm just going to kind of bring it down here. But if I factor 12, I can factor it into 3 times 4. Okay? These, uh, number 3 can't be broken down into another factor because that's a prime number, thus the prime factorization part. So I'm just going to bring that down, bring the 2 down, and then I know that 4 can be broken up into two different numbers, 2 times 2. Okay? So if I multiply all these numbers together, I will get 24. And these are the prime numbers that when you multiply them together, they give you 24. Thus, prime factorization. Okay? Now, I'm going to do the same thing over here on this side. And I'm going to choose uh, number 4. I know that that already breaks up into 2 times 2. 9 breaks up into 3 times 3. And so if I multiply all three of these together, I will get 36. All right? Thus, prime factorization. Now, here's the part that might get a little tricky for some of you. I'm going to be looking for repeat numbers on both sides to help me find that GCF. So what I do here is I'm going to start with the number 24 prime factorization that I've done. And I'm going to start over here. And I notice that I have a 2 on this side. And I'm going to look for a repeat 2 on the other side. And I see that that's over there. So i got a repeat 2 over here. I'm going to circle that. I'm going to save it. I'm going to move forward. i got a 3 over here. So I've got a 3 here. And I'm going to look for another 3 over here. And I see one. So I'm going to save it. Okay. And then I'm going to look for a 2. That's the next step. And I find a 2 here. And then I also look for another 2. There's only one left right there. And that's it. Okay. Um, the last number on this side is a 2, but I notice that there's not another 2 over here. So I can't choose any more repeat numbers. All right? So what does that mean? Well, I have these three numbers that are shared on either side, and these are the um, going to help me find the GCF. If I multiply these three numbers together, I will get my GCF. Okay? So I got 2 times 3 times 2 on this side. And I got 2 times 2 times 3 over here. It may look silly at first, but these are actually going to be the same. And they should be the same because of the prime factorization. These are the numbers they share together. These are the greatest factors they share together. And they should give us that number that we're looking for, which in this case is 12. If we didn't get 12 here, that tells us that we made a mistake in our factorization up here, and we need to go back and look at that. So, 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 times 2 is equal to 12. So that's what I got. Oh, that matches up here on top. Okay, now I need to make sure this one does it. 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 3, that also equals 12. Nice. So, I got my... GCF it matched up with these two guys right here okay and so that's how you would find the GCF now the lowest common multiple is a little more difficult with the list but we can use the factor tree that we made here okay so what you do there is you have two numbers right here sometimes there's going to be more than that but what you take is you can take this number right here and if you multiply it by this guy right up there it will give you your least common multiple okay and if you take this number and you multiplied it by this guy 24 it will also give you your lowest common multiple so let's try that if I take 2 times 36 that's gonna give me 72 alright if I take 24 times 3, that's also going to give me 72. So I found my greatest or my least common multiple right there from doing that. Now, if you want to see the list um, of all those things, 
Well, here's what we can do there, all right? So how I would do that if with a list is I'd have 24 and I'd have 36, and I'd look for the numbers that multiply together uh, with 24. So I can do 24 times 1 is equal to 24. 24 times 2 is equal to 48. And 24 times 3 is equal to 72, if you remember that from the front side. Okay, so this is the number I'm looking for. I could go a little bit further if I wanted to. Um, but I know that this is what I'm looking for. I'm just looking for a match, really, on the other side. I'm looking for the lowest multiple that they go into. Okay? So 36 times 1 is equal to 36. 36 times uh, 2 is equal to 72. And so do you see that these match? Okay? Those match, and so that's the lowest common multiple. And as you can hear, that's the bell. So that means I'm done. This has been lowest common multiple and GCF with Mr. Anderson. I hope you enjoy.